With us now is Gretel Cleggett. Welcome, Gretel, how are you today? Hi, Donna, I am great. I'm so excited to be here with you, a fellow Missourian. A fellow Missourian, yes, indeed. So you grew up in Hannibal and I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, and we were talking on the phone for about 45 minutes. And then all of a sudden this, there was this like eureka moment where we were like, yes. oh, I'm from where you're from. How did you get here, you know? Um, you have made such a wonderful career for yourself out of doing so many things in our industry from acting and directing and your award winning and it's just been fun to read about all the things that you've accomplished you personally how do you feel about your journey so far wow well it has been quite the journey um you know there have been points on the journey because i have had so much transformation in my life um so sometimes there have been points uh not right now but in the past um where i thought what am i doing here what's going on but from this vantage point i'm actually deeply grateful for every experience that i had um you know even in the realm of business development uh, i was a salesperson for a, a, a section of my career and that was a time where i was thinking like well because my soul was yearning to be more creative again um, I started as an actress, as you mentioned. Um, I actually started performing in Hannibal, Missouri in professional summer stock theater at the age of seven. So that was really my first love. Um, so there were there have been moments where it's like, hey, what's going on here? But now I, I really am grateful for everything because I, I do feel that I have this kind of unique singular foundation from which to do all the things I love to do, which is create, write, collaborate with other artists, direct. You've won some accolades um, and some of them are like truly amazing. What are you proud of? Like what's around your aura of your space right now that you say, you know what? Uh, I am glad I got that. It was nice that they recognized me for that achievement. That's a great question. Um, you know, I think that awards, um, that's the icing on the cake, really. I don't think that when we're creating that we can be striving for fame and recognition. Um, well, I shouldn't say that we can't be. I think that, you know, that's definitely uh, bred within us, especially in our culture of gold stars. So, um, you know, and, and I'm, I'm no different than anybody else, of course. But I think at this point, I really am trying to get clear with what's my intention for creating this? What do I want to say? How do I want to shift the energies in the world, because I do believe that storytelling is a you know powerful transformative force in our world. Um, so of course, I mean getting you know getting these awards like the AMC Networks, you know best female creator at uh, Sterable Fest 2020, um, New York Women in Film and Television Award for writing and directing that happened recently, it feels wonderful it's been a long journey and I, you know there's a long journey to go <laughs> i have many ambitions in terms of the things that i the stories i want to tell um but i am clear now that um you know i just feel grateful and i i think as any artist especially an artist working in still a very capitalistic culture where the arts aren't necessarily supported in the way that i feel that they should be any type of award like that, of course, is just kind of, you know, kind of an encouragement like, okay, you're on the right track. Keep going, keep expanding, keep keep following your passion. I, I have to agree with you. You know, going to high school and college, I was an A student. Sometimes I got a B plus, but for the most time I got an A. Um, yeah. And it was that, like, for me, it was always that like reassurance as, all, you know, that recognition uh, that accolade that exactly what you just said that yes you belong here you're one of us you're doing good work and people want more of it and it yes. it just kind of makes you say oh, okay well i guess you know i'm i'm not going to change my career so i'm not going to become a brain surgeon tomorrow right <laughs> like you can stay exactly. stay in your lane now um right and and i think also to that point you know um there are many years and i'm sure you experience this too donna i mean in order to have successes, we have failures. And there yes. are times where we create things and 
it's not accepted or you know you get many more no's before you get yeses and and i certainly have experienced that you know this isn't like an overnight thing so uh, <laughs> and i'm aware that you know the next thing i might create who knows who knows how it will be received <laughs> well let's talk about as before we wrap up the most important thing that's going on right now storm chaser uh catch us up with that so Storm Chaser is a long, short film. It's uh, uh, roughly 28 minutes. Um, I made it as a short film and also as a proof of concept television pilot. Um, and it's currently on the festival circuit. Of course, as you know, 2020 was a very rough year. Uh, most of the festivals were virtual. Uh, sadly, 2021 right now, you know, the festivals are virtual, but We've, we've been playing the festival circuit. If anyone wants to check it out right now, it is part of the New York Women in Film and Television's short film festival. It's on uh, Go Indie TV. Um, and so uh, I don't know whether you can include a link or people can, people oh, can probably find it. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you can watch it live there through the end of January. Then Wonderful. it will be back in the festival circuit and hopefully later this year playing live. Um, and it's, I think, a very timely satire. It allegorizes uh, this moment in America um, and has a very strong um, female lead that uh, I hope we see more of these types of female leads moving forward. Well, continued success to you. Uh, and I'm so glad our paths have crossed. And uh, I'm just gonna grab my mug that has my name on it and I'm, I'm kind of cheering you or, or toasting to you. Uh, so from my home to, to your home, um, and I can't wait to break bread with you in the three-dimensional world soon. I cannot wait either, Donna. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to you to continued success. Be well. To you, thank you. Bye-bye.